Hello, welcome back, Krista Crotty, Velocity Business Strategist. We are on day 13 of round three of 75 Days of Shift. Thank you for watching. What I wanted to talk to you about today is getting lucky versus working hard. Um, did someone say to me, wow, you're so lucky to be able to do that? Well, not really lucky. I've worked really hard to get to where I am. And, you know, I continue to work hard and I continue to do things um, that help move my business forward, that help move <clears throat> my <clears throat> endeavors forward. And one of the biggest things is investing in myself, investing whether it's time doing something, it's money in a workshop or a class or, uh, you know, series of items. I continually work on myself. You know, I invest time by reading books. I invest money by going to workshops and classes and seminars. So, you know, where are you working to invest in your success? Where are you working towards being more successful? How are you doing that? You know, one of the things that <clears throat> I went over in previous <clears throat> rounds was I talked about the time cost trade off, right? You're either going to invest time and money at some level, it balances out, it harmonizes out, and you can do one, you can do the other, you can do both. I highly recommend doing both, investing the time and the energy as well as money to get things. And one of the biggest ways that I do that is personal development because the personal is really important. It's never just you're really good at your job or you're really good at your career, you're really good at your business. You're probably really good in other areas too. So um, one of my mentors years ago said, you know, hey, look, you got to work on yourself first. The inner work needs to be done so that outer can work. You know, and another more recent mentor uses the phrase, you know, the professional provides for the personal and the personal serves the professional. So if either one of those is out of whack, chances are the other one is too, or it will be at some point. So I invite you to continue investing in yourself, continue working towards what it is that you want. I'd love to <clears throat> see in the comments, read your comments and see what it is that you are working towards. Because like I said in previous videos, for me, the fourth quarter is really the launching pad. It's the pre-season, if you will, for the next year. It's never, let's wrap up and be done with this year. Although, you know, some of us are like, yep, another year I want to be done with. So <laughs> think of it more as launching you into 2022, launching you into next year, launching you into first quarter. Because all of those seeds, everything that you're doing now in planting seeds, talking to people, building your business, could be harvested in January. You could have a midwinter harvest. How cool would that be? So as you're doing that, look for other ways to invest in yourself. <clears throat> Again, I would like to invite you all to come to my workshop. Um, I'll put the link in the comments. It's uh, called Flipping Your Flop, Breaking the Cycle of Frustration, Lack, Overwhelm, and Procrastination. It is at 7 p.m. on Wednesday, October 13th. And it's put on by Happy Neighborhood Project. I am one of their members as well as one of their uh, instructors. So I'd love to see you all there. Again, I'll put the link in the comments so that you can register and join me there. Find me on LinkedIn and we can connect there as well. So remember to invest in yourself. You're worth it. And good luck. You know it's not just luck. Since today happens to be day 13, um, we really want to work on working hard to play harder and knowing that it's never just luck. It's actually never luck. It's always hard work that pays off in the end. So Krista Karate, Velocity Business Strategist, and I look forward to accelerating success. Take care.